um, for the YouTube folks, um, you might be sitting there wondering where the show has been for the last two weeks, and there's yeah, some sad, serious news on that one. Um, we've talked in uh, a little bit on on the show about how my dog Loki, our dog, had uh, developed cancer. Um, week before last, it got worse to the point where we I kind of had to put a lot of things on hold to take care of him. And we were waiting for test results, hoping to get an idea of what the treatment course was going to be. And when the test results came back, they were inconclusive. The oncologist felt that there was no treatment plan that would go forward that would be worth it and help his quality of life. And last Monday, we had to make the decision that it was time for, we, we had to let him go. That is very, very hard to do. Yeah. I've had to do it a few times and it is terrible. So I but yeah, what's right for them. So it's it's been a rough two weeks. Um we've been dealing with it. We've been acclimating. I've grief is weird as Nine. because I've been reorganizing the entire Nine. house just for something I could actually do. Yeah. Um, something exert some control over. Um but I did want to say that you folks have been amazing um and you've been very patient and you've been very yes grady shush he's back there screaming um there's a hole in the show i gotta fill it you you folks have been fantastic and i couldn't have asked for a better audience through all this you've been very patient you've been very understanding um i am so grateful uh, we give this audience a lot of shit. They really are wonderful. Yeah, you, 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 I mean, just dropping the show for two weeks in internet time, that's, that's like, that's death. But you yeah. guys, you guys, I, I'm, I'm glad you guys were all here. I'm glad you're still here. Um, I've, I, it's been, I haven't gone without doing a show in that long and I don't know how long. I, I, maybe I want to, I don't know if ever. Yeah, maybe I've, if I've ever been deathly ill at some point, which is popped yeah. up here and there. But um, thank you. Thank you to my patrons who not only stayed around, but also pitched in further. I've been trying to keep everybody updated on what was going on. It was a really hard week. Uh, it's slowly getting better. Um, and uh, we're just going to have to take it from here. But I'm back doing stuff because work must be done because we live in a capitalist hellscape. Hello, Grady. Yeah, I can go. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, come here. Oh, you big fuzzy I, butthead. Oh. I heard you a fuzzy animal to interrupt the show. Yes. I could interrupt the show. Hi. You might also hear Valkyrie from her little bathroom. Uh, the, the door is open now and she can vault the gate, but sometimes she just likes to sit there and sing. <sighs> but, uh, she did great at the vet, so she can now begin to be integrated with the other cats. So we're leaving the door open. That's good. Look at this now. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, oh okay. Well, no, good. never mind. Never mind. Goodbye. <laughs> Little Night. Cat. I don't want to talk about some other cat. All Bullshit. right. Well, now that's all of the way. And thank you to you folks on YouTube. Thank you to the folks on Patreon. All you folks who, all, my entire audience, the folks in the live stream and on Twitch and all that. I'm so grateful. Thank you. All right. Now that I've been jerking you off for like 15 minutes, it's time to get to the uh, the horrible stuff. Um, Here we go. Let's get the intro going. Each week... Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring you back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong With You? Crazy. We're starting off, it's, this is, Crazy. people keep, keep joking about this, about, about how it keeps escalating, the gender reveal. And we joke about how it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. It's not a fucking joke. This fucking happened, Oregon. Um, and and I, 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 mother, Christmas. 
Um, gender reveal explosion in New Hampshire quarry. Oh, okay, it was New Hampshire quarry. Uh, rattles towns in two states. What the what? Baby, what is you doing? Um, a family is accused of using explosives at a New England quarry to announce the sex of their baby. Gender, not sex, gender. Um, rocking several towns from New Hampshire all the way down to Massachusetts in the process. Neighborhoods. Apparently, in they're having a Godzilla. <laughs> Neighborhoods in multiple communities in southern uh, New Hampshire and northern Massachusetts were rattled by the mysterious explosion. For news outlets, police in the town of Kingston in the Granite State confirmed the explosions were caused by the family revealing the gender of their baby. Authorities believe Tannerite explosives were used were used legally when people who set off the blast had permission to be on the property. Okay, explosion rattled homes within a 20-mile radius. All right, it's 2021. Yeah. And I don't know if you've been keeping track, but the 21st century, we've had a couple of incidents. Yeah. Um, been a little rocky. Uh, no that, pun intended. That they, they've involved explosions and they've involved, um, you know, terrible things. You, you just fucking freaked out everyone within 20. And I don't know if you kind of understand how big a 20 mile radius is. That's really fucking big. And like, I don't even understand it. Like, first of all, I don't understand why we must do this. I don't know why this became a thing. I don't know why it's necessary. I don't, I don't get it. I mean, I have cats, but also why do we need to constantly be one upping it? Like when it started, you got a cake and you cut into the cake and the cake was either pink or blue. Yeah. And then we started at we started fucking adding explosives. Right. Like why? Why? Is it I... four people have died this year from gender reveal parties? <sighs> what the fuck? It should be like if we're going to do this, we should do it the way the Catholic Church does it. The smoke, yeah. Hear, hear, hear me out. Because mm -hmm. saying we should do anything the way the Catholic Church does is a controversial <laughs> statement. I love but how the, the first Catholic thing, Church, I jump to the smoke, but other people are like, ew. In the Catholic Church, when you are born, you are baptized to cleanse you of original sin, and your parents choose on your behalf for you to join the church. Realizing that that's kind of messed up, There, when you are, I think about 16, mm -hmm. maybe, no, like 14, because I did it in eighth grade, you have confirmation. Right. Which yeah. is another sacrament where you, as an approaching adulthood person, decide for yourself and commit yourself to the church because your parents did it for you before. So if we're going to really stick to the gender reveal thing, yeah. we need to cut out the explosives and we need to like find like this is the this is the bits you were born with but when you grow up you can we we can we can do this over again if you didn't like the result this didn't like sounds reductive and i don't mean it that way but like you know what i mean like when you grow up we can we can do this again in case yes. the original result was wrong i just i, I just, stopped just, using well, fucking explosives yeah, and just please stop blowing shit up. Motherfucking. Because I'm amazed. The gender to own the libs. Yeah. Four people. And you know what? I think that's a lot of where, where this is. It's, it's we are getting, it, it, this is culture war bullshit. This is weird. People who have sanity are getting baffled and incensed by the fact that you keep setting off explosives. Yeah. So there like was I friends that have done de gender reveal and they just got a cake. So so the res released a balloon or something. The response to to people being like, could you not blow shit up? We're gonna blow shit up harder. Oh no lives. Now I'm gonna blow more shit up just because mm -hmm. I found out it makes you mad. Well, we're killing people though. 
Well, speaking of owning the libs, um, this 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 got got to make you smile just just a wee bit. Let's go up here. Um, Capital Rioter arrested after being turned in by match on online dating app. This Bumble. woman is a hero. Justice Department has charged a Capital Rioter who was turned in. Why you call him Rioter? It's a fucking insurrection. Who was turned in by someone he matched At least with? We're not saying protester. Hmm. Someone he matched with on the dating app Bumble after he bla bragged about his exploits on January 6th. According to court documents, one week after the attack, Robert Chapman of New York uh, told one of his Bumble matches that, quote, I did storm the Capitol and said that he, quote, made it all the way to Statuary Hall. He also claimed he was interviewed by members of the media. The Bumble user replied, we are not a match. Prosecutors said the users they quickly reached out to the FBI and provided screenshots of the conversation. There is a scene in The Wire that, if you haven't watched The Wire, you're like, uh, everyone tries to get you to watch The Wire, but, but you know, it's, I don't want to watch The Wire. You want to watch, fucking watch The Wire. Um, there's a scene where uh, the, the the drug cartels in Baltimore have banded together and they're they're formed a co-op. They're all going through the same importing connect for for drugs. And in order to run this co-op, they're having meetings using Robert's Rules of Order. Oh my god, that's amazing! And one of the guys there is is sitting there writing shit down, and one of the drug dealers goes over and goes. Are you taking notes on a criminal fucking conspiracy? <laughs> and that's what this shit keeps reminding me of. Don't, yeah. You have just admitted on the interwebs. Do you to know a what a... What? To a stranger. To a stranger. Do you know what a, uh, what a scringe cap is? I also want to talk about his uh, wannabe Wolverine look. Holy shit, look at this. Now, I, I try to not make an issue of how people look if it's like, you know, how they it's look. Things you can't change. Genetics, I, but this, this is a, a choice, though. That's a goddamn choice. It's like, it's like Wolverine, except he forgot a part. Like, well, no, he's like, like kind he of. He chose a, to be MAGA Wolverine. He's a little bit between Wolverine and Abe Lincoln. Yeah. You know, a little bit. Th <sighs> I mean, like, I just, I, I highly respect this woman who is like, first of all, no fuck off. Second of all, thank you for the evidence. <laughs> I will be fucking reporting you. Like, but what do you think was going to fucking happen? You've just admitted to a fucking... You're dealing with people that like only watch OAN and Newsmax, so they honestly think that this is something to brag about that's going to impress people. Like, that like that's a real panty dropper. The we watch so many movies and shows where criminals go to elaborate lengths to conceal evidence and and hide the, the, what they're doing, and the writers try to get so smart and think about. All and right. It's crazy how not realistic that is. Yeah, they're like. They don't care. They don't quite understand They're how to fucking dating apps being like, yeah, I try to shoot Nancy Pelosi. Oh. Okay. Well, let's move it right along. This one is baffling. I it just comes from Oneida and it's Walmart and it's the police. And this is I don't even what the fuck? investigator accused of stealing moisturizer women's underwear no longer works for state police former investigator no longer works for the new york state police after administrative investigation was launched following an alleged theft at the walmart in oneida Employees at the Walmart claim 49-year-old William B. Kiefer allegedly stole moisturizer and women's underwear from the store, according to the Times Union in Albany. The employees called the Oneida City Police to report the incident, later declined to press charges. Um, 
despite not facing charges, police, New York State Police confirmed Kiefer was suspended without pay. Investigators no longer employed by state police. What? Look, if you're ashamed of your kink, there's online shopping. Right? That's the first thing I thought. You can fucking... They will send you this shit. Yeah. You could just go to Amazon and you will have... Take your pick. Yeah. They'll just, and they don't... They they sell so much crap, they're not going to think about the combination of moisturizer and women's underwear that is very clear what your intentions are. They don't care. Is it like... Is oh, it, there's a woman who lives there who has dry knees if they think about it at all <laughs> I was like, I'm, I'm thinking about we've done that Patton Oswald Christmas shoes bit um, <laughs> and I'm thinking about that bit I can't get off unless you trick a guy to pay him for these shoes that's what I'm thinking I can't get off unless I steal the women's underwear from the Walmart <laughs> that's that what Vietnam did to me that might be part of it <laughs> Also, like, you gotta, uh, if you're gonna use the moisturizer that way, you need to read the ingredients. Seriously, it's you can't just grab the shit off the shelf. Not all of them are suitable for that area. Yeah. It, it, it might seem like, that's skin, what's the big, no, no, there's different skins. We yeah. have many, we have different types of shit. And if I can offer an unrelated piece of advice, um, probably not relevant to this guy, but... I dated a guy for a while, and the first time I went over his apartment, right on his nightstand was a jumbo box of tissues and, like, a Costco-sized thing of body lotion. Put those away if you're having a girl over. We know you don't just have a runny nose and dry skin, like. That's awkward. And, like, we know you do that, and that doesn't bother us, but, you know. There are Target You'd offers. You'd be mad if you came over and she had her 12-inch dildo on the nightstand. Like, just, you know. Actually, I'd be kind of impressed, honestly. That's, <laughs> that's wow. Um, but, you know, it's, we have Target has two-day shipping. Walmart has two-day shipping. Amazon yeah. has, everybody's got two-day fucking shipping. Some people have one-day shipping. You Could don't you? have to do this. Was this a penis emergency? <laughs> Did you absolutely positively have to jerk it right then? I mean, I know a lot of men think that everything that happens with their penis is an emergency. <laughs> but it's probably not. Uh, all right. Well, the next one, I have not watched the Dukes of Hazard since I was a child. I, I I was and I'm I'm dating myself here, but when I was a child, my father loved that fucking show and I watched it all the time. Did. What? My sister my sister did. My sister loved the Dukes of Hazard. And so all I can say, and we got we got video. Um <clears throat> the minute I saw this just a good old boys. Never meaning no harm. <laughs> Video shows driver jumping rising drawbridge in Daytona Beach. Driver in Daytona Beach did not let a rising drawbridge, drawbridge stop them from reaching their destination. Traffic camera video shows the driver speeding through the drawbridge crossing, breaking the arm, and then driving over the bridge as it began to rise. Car briefly caught a bit of air before landing on the other side and driving off. Get the like, is somebody the in screen. labor? Is somebody bleeding? Those are kind of the only two situations where that you might get away with that. Eh. If somebody's about to birth a human or bleed to death. Please believe they have identified the driver who they say will likely face charges. See, okay. You've broken the cross. That's not, it, it's not like paper mache or some shit there. They got to pay to fix that shit. Also, Christ knows what you did to your front end. Good one. Um, but yeah, when you catch air with every time I've ever in my life caught air with a car, I have known I fucked up. The and suspension does not like it. The, the way I know I fucked up is a few moments. I have, 
the place that the worst is about it is um, Atlanta. Have you driven Atlanta? I've never been to Atlanta. Wow. Okay. It's not like San Francisco or anything, but there are some hills in Atlanta. And if you're not prepared for it, and if you're not watching the road very carefully, your ass will catch some air here and there. Um, Because it's, it's the Georgia Hills is, is part of the thing. And every time I've caught air in my car, I know I have made a mistake because a few seconds later, the car lands. Yeah. And nothing about the car is happy after that happens. Like, things make noise. It's like, it's very, you feel it in your bones. And it's like, oh, no. Yeah. Suspension doesn't like that. That that is that is the sensation of money leaving your pocket, and that happened. So I don't understand what the fuck, man. Why would you willingly do that shit to your car? And it's not like a badass car either. It's not. It's like a wagon, of some type. Yep. It's, it's so like. Yeah. Timmy's still going to be at soccer practice if you're five minutes late. Is this a midlife crisis thing? Just trying just trying to get back a little bit of that. Just want to feel alive again. <laughs> Maybe. Took the SUV three feet Florida. in the air. I feel alive. It is Florida. Now I'll have something to talk about at the reunion. <laughs> I did something with my life. Maybe it wasn't their car. No, they, they identified the driver, which pretty much means that's... Yeah. Yeah. Unless that shit was reported stolen, then that would have been a thing, but no, it wasn't reported. Here. Uh, God damn it. Yeah, it looks cool in the movies, but cars aren't really made to do shit like that. Ah. <sighs> Like, just because Vin Diesel does it doesn't mean you should do it. We have seen people steal the most ridiculous vehicles. We've seen them steal ambulances. We've seen them steal ambulances with, like, that were responding to life-threatening shit. We've seen them steal fire ca- fire engines, police cars, fucking forklifts. Yeah. This one, at least... You know, I kind of get it a little bit. I kind of get it. It's ridiculous. It's stupid as shit. But I get it. Man steals Dorito truck. Punching and sick. According to police in Oklahoma City, a 34-year-old Joshua Carp stole a Doritos delivery truck on the morning of March 21st. Delivery driver pulled up to a gas station and left the vehicle idling as he went inside. That was all Carp needed as he jumped inside and took off. The delay employee noticed the truck across the street in another parking lot. When he approached the stolen vehicle, Carp took off. His Carp led police on a wild yet slow chase. Oklahoma Highway Patrol and Garfield County Sheriff's Office assisted as a man reportedly smashed into several law enforcement vehicles and the chase continued. Back up from Eden, police joined in, and the pictures are wild. <laughs> Law enforcement tried using spike strips, but Carp simply swerved around them in a Dorito truck. Is that also, a what's the point of spike strips if you don't put them all the way across the road? Right. Um, <laughs> they also set up a roadblock, but the man turned the truck in a different direction. <laughs> They're bad at this. Officers eventually, uh, an officer was able to shoot out the front driver's side tire on the Doritos truck. Uh, Cart was forced to stop. The chase ended just before Eden Sears city limit. Somehow nobody was hurt. Um, All right, first of all, your ass is no longer inconspicuous. No. Well, actually, there's a whole part. Somebody was padding the word count. Uh? We're not advising anyone run from the cops, but if you're going to do such a thing, finding something that blends in with traffic and is fast is a much better idea than a big delivery truck. I love the dude who's just trundling along and swerves. <laughs> and just like, he get, there's a roadblock. He's like, nope. <laughs> 
and went the other way and the cops just like what now what oh um facing three felony assault and battery with a deadly weapon complaints yeah if you deliberately hit somebody somebody's yeah. vehicle with them inside it with your Especially vehicle old truck that's assault and battery with a deadly weapon it's a giant truck yeah However, you know, I get it. If you're going to steal a stupid vehicle, might as well have snacks. I've never liked Doritos. I know, I know. That makes me like a communist or something, but I think they're kind of gross. Not even the Cool Ranch? No. They smell bad. Not even the original taco flavor? No. That was the good one. They're yeah. terrible. They come back out with the taco flavor sometimes. It's a good one. I, I don't understand the appeal. I never oh, have. No, Tara. Like they, they just they, they smell bad and they don't taste good. No, they taste they taste very good. Doritos taste good. I don't get it. And I'm sure like everyone's gonna be mad at me for that. Yes, I am mad at you. I'm the only person I've ever met who doesn't like Doritos. So I realize that I am in a stark minority because like People offer me Doritos and I'm like, no, I don't really like them. And they're like, what the fuck planet did you just land from? And I'm like, I know, right? They have it. They have extreme but flavors. It's not for me. The Doritos, they have extreme. They have extreme flavors. I I don't. But it's extreme. it's extreme. The only extreme Dorito I need in my life is Chris Evans. <laughs> So oh, like if it was like a if it was like a Lay's truck. Well, it's a Frito Lay's truck, so Yeah. Or even like a Cheeto truck. I like Cheetos. But they got the dust. Yeah, I don't like Dorito dust. I mean you so eat, did Tara join ISIS. You, wow. You eat a bunch of you eat a bunch of Cheetos and suddenly that shit builds up on your fingers and you have sort of like a a paste yeah orange. and get off your fingers that's the best part it's like that's like the drinking the chocolate milk from cocoa puffs part of the cheeto experience no it's part of it it's important who are you a person who doesn't like doritos i don't know you <laughs> I don't like any flavor of potato chips either. I only like plain potato chips. Uh. <laughs> you you can just you know you just move to Canada. It'll be easier for everybody. But I don't want to move to Canada. <laughs> it's cold up there. She says, even though I got snow last week. <laughs> Here in Winterfell. Uh, last one this week, and this is, you know what? This sounds exciting, but I read the headline and it just made me tired reading this headline. I'm like, who has the energy for this shit? Like, goddamn. Man accused of firing gun, jumping off balcony, breaking into neighbor's home. Spring Valley, a man suspected of being impaired by drugs fired a gun out his bedroom window, jumped off the balcony of a Spring Valley apartment, and broke a window to get into the home of a downstairs neighbor. Wounded man was discovered around 10 p.m. after a resident reported a man was trying to break into apartments in the area and looked like he was bleeding. Man suffered injuries to his ankle, right foot, and shoulders, was taken to hospital for treatment. Sheriffs initially believed the man had been shot. Man exhibited signs of being under the influence of a controlled substance. <laughs> no shit. And told deputies he thought someone was after him. Meth. Meth. <laughs> like Ricola, only it's meth. Um, investigators determined he had discharged six rounds from a gun pointing from his bedroom toward a parking lot. No one was hit. Firearm and empty shell casings were recovered from the scene. What? But, How does that but, is a good time? What, why? That's what I want to know. He thought someone was chasing him, so instead of going out the door, 
he shot out his own window, jumped down a balcony, and tried to break into somebody else's house. This is... And, like, that wasn't, like, if someone was really chasing you, they would probably notice that you had shot out your window. Yeah. Like, you don't really want to leave a trail. This is not a fun drug. I don't understand how this is the fun Why? I've been doing this for years, and I just don't understand. We don't. We, st we never will. Because when I think of drugs, I think of a good time. This is not a good time. This is exhausting. I just read this, and I'm like, oh. Oh. That sounds like a lot of work. It does. Because you've got to shoot the gun, and that's very loud. Yeah. And then you've broken the window. Well, there goes your security deposit. And then you're fucking climbing. And there's glass. Yeah. And you're like jumping and leaping. Just like, just have a joint. You don't have to do any of that shit. Exactly. Then you might just steal a Doritos truck. <laughs> just, just fucking smoke a joint. That's why I, you know, I, I understand why we need pharmaceuticals. I understand why we need certain drugs, but for recreational purposes, why do we really need much beyond beer and weed? You know, why do we have to get exciting with that shit? Maybe, maybe mushrooms, maybe. And I would argue that we need all the varieties of liquor. Okay, but why? Like, I don't like beer. I like sugary rum-based drinks that are pink and have stuff in them. Yeah, but, you know, what? we don't really... You, you, get, you got your weed, you got your booze. What do we need past that? Really? Yeah. You know, for, for may, like I said, maybe mushrooms. Maybe if you're going to get a little wild. But that's the, about the limit. I certainly want to want to shit that, you know, you, just the act of making it is a fucking toxic waste dump. Yeah. I, do, I don't know that we as people need mess. It's just it's it's just so it's like everybody's out for this crazy shit. And I'm just like, I, you know what? Give me a beer. That's all I want. If I, if I <laughs> why? It sounds exhausting. Shit, now I think I want a beer. Anyway, so yeah, the first thing we learned this week is we we you, you, we have too many drugs of it. You don't need this many drugs. Keep it simple. Keep keep it fucking simple, or you will be jumping off a fucking balcony and shooting a gun. And listen, I live in a weed legal state. Weed is great. Um, we've learned that maybe don't steal the giant fucking moving target. And also, the spike strips have to go all the way across the street, dumbass. Um, we've learned that jumping the drawbridge might sound really cool, but wait till your mechanic gets a hold of you. Oh, uh, your insurance is gonna have fun with your ass. I, I love how this week we're just car, and it can look totally fine. By the way, I once totaled a car just by cracking the A frame. Mm -hmm. I thought I had only dented the fender, but I cracked because I got T boned. And I cracked the A-frame, and they were like, well, this car is dead now. Luckily, my dad's mechanic was Dr. Frankenstein, and I drove that car for another 10 years. <laughs> but it was considered totaled. Well, total just means uh, it would cost more than it was worth to repair it. So you got yeah. lucky. Yeah. I, I love how this week we're all about... We're, 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 I, I feel like old. this is like old people weeks. Like, don't jump the drawbridge. Where just are you kids? Things, just stay home and drink beer. <laughs> Um, we've learned you can just <laughs> all that adventure sounds exhausting. I have bad knees. <laughs> you can just order your kink online. Don't yeah, you don't <laughs> we are like it would be it would probably be horrifying for us to look at episodes from like ten years ago and realize how fucking old we've gotten. Yeah. It would. But we we uh you can order your kink online. It's it's even if your kink is very common, apparently you, you don't don't go steal a shit from Walmart. They'll just bring your kink to you. See, now you don't have a job. Um, We've learned that if if you put I there's even a picture, there's even a goddamn picture of the Bumble. I, I got to put, put this up on on uh, on screen because uh, wow, there's a screenshot um 
yeah, let's do the big screen for this one because th- there's a screenshot there of Kim bragging about it. We are not a match. Fuck me. Um, Dumbass. The the internet, yeah. That that's a. Uh, if you put evidence on the internet, it's it's on the internet. There are still people that don't understand that the internet is real life. Which the things they say on the internet like don't matter. 20 years ago, I kind of got that because hardly right. anybody was on the fucking well, internet. We're past the fucking point where that is a reasonable assumption. Facebook has billions of goddamn users, right? Yeah. And finally, we've learned this week, not even your child is as obsessed with their gender as you are. It's Chill the creepy, fuck. Actually. Hmm? It's fucking creepy. Like, for fuck's sake, if it's an explosion that was heard, that was felt 20 miles away, that means if the pregnant... Do you understand how explosions go through solid objects? Yeah. So you're, if, if the woman was there, pregnant, while this explosion went off, the shock wave went through yeah. the womb... Somebody got bounced around a little. I'm sh- if you die in an explosion, it's not necessarily from the fire, but from the concussive force. You, you pretty and much. Who did that? A pregnant lady. Announcing to the world what what gender you presume your child to have. You basically slapped him in the head. You're off to a great start, Is Dad. Valkyrie in the background. No, I cannot. Oh, okay. I think she's getting ready to vault that gate. Like you're 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 off to a great goddamn your kid and I don't even get it like my nursery when I was a baby was literally yellow and green because my parents didn't know what they were having because back then they really couldn't tell you so they just did the nursery in gender neutral colors mine was wood paneled because the whole house is wood paneled my mom's favorite color was yellow, and we're Irish as fuck, so yellow and green. I mean, congratulations, it's a 70s. 